Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or to my channel. I'm Witchcraft and happy Sunday, happy Mother's Day for those um, celebrating Mother's Day. Um, I've had a lovely walk with my mum this morning. We went for a social distance walk and it was really nice to catch up with her and give her her gifts. Um, and I was spoiled by my children. Um, I got some lovely flowers, some chocolate. I got a game that we're gonna play later and I got a cross stitch, a little cute little kit. So I should show you that. I've literally just put down. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, hang in there. It's super cute. It is a dimensions, it's gonna be on 14 counts. It comes with the full kit and all the threads ready. I actually quite like it how they do it like that. Um, I've just gone straight into cross stitching chatting sorry rushing into it but um so when they put it in here like that it's kind of glued in so you can just pull them out pull a thread out each time which I quite like um a lot it's a lot less messy than putting it through like a hole I find but yeah um so yeah hang in there it's going to be a cute little one so I've got the size on there um five inches by seven inches might actually get a um, fully finished, an FFO, fully finished object in uh, <laughs> very soon. So yeah, I'm going to put him in my office when he's done. I'm going to frame him um, or her, whatever. Um, so that would be quite cool to have. So I'm really chuffed with that. Um, so yeah, it's been a really nice morning so far. Um, just spending time with them. And we watched a film last night called Yesterday on Netflix. Um, it's about parents that um, are struggling with their children, always having to say no. As you know, the parent like, no, you can't do this, no, this, this. Um, and they decide to do what's called a yes day. So they spend the day saying yes to everything with, you know, a little bit of rules. But yeah, it just goes a bit crazy, as you can imagine. So we sat and watched that last night, which was really good fun. Um, so yeah. Uh, this week, um, I haven't done as much stitching as I would have liked. Um, at the beginning of the week, I seem to be coming down with something and I, I just, I know I shouldn't, but I'm sure lots of us do do this, but you automatically think COVID, you can't help it now. We're a year in and as soon as you get a sniffle or anything, well, I do, I, maybe I'm just a drama queen, but yeah, I do as soon as I'm coughing or feeling a bit like, oh I'm not quite right then I'm thinking of the worst um but luckily touch wood wherever um <laughs> bookshelf <laughs> um luckily it didn't really come to anything but it took a good three days for me to just feel I can I didn't stitch those three days I just felt so dizzy and just not with it it also could be due to the fact that I've changed my glasses recently and I think they seem to have they're very strong and when I take them off because they're for long distance as soon as I take them off to cross stitch I'm really like I'm like blind as a bat now so um I'm using my magnifying glasses to try and help out but I think the difference of taking them on and off hasn't helped either I'm getting attacked by cloth there's cloth everywhere um so yeah I I just didn't feel up to stitching for the first few days this week so I haven't got as much done as I would have liked some, but I do have quite a bit to show you today. So I thought I was going to wait like two weeks to do my video, but I thought, no, I'll do one today. I was in the mood to do one. So if you're in the mood to listen to me blab, that's fab. Thanks for watching. Um, I do. I have a quick little story to tell you, actually, um, which just cracked me up yesterday. So I, w I went to the shop with my daughter and um, where our local shops is, there's not much parking so if if you don't want to hear my boring story just go ahead and skip to the cross stitch part where i pick up a picture <laughs> but anyway um so i came past and there was so there's like spa two spaces two spaces that face each other and you and you come in um and there was a van one side of van another side and i thought because i've got a big i've got a fox insignia so it's quite a big car um and i thought well i'll reverse in to the space easy I do this all the time absolutely fine so <laughs> so I, I didn't get the angle right I'm gonna off oh, I've never like the phone's gonna be like oh women driving I'm not I'm, I'm not helping that saying out right now I'm usually not too bad with driving but I reversed in and I already knew as I was reversing in I'd taken it at a wrong angle I look up 
and in front of me is a white van with a couple of gentlemen in there looking straight at me and you could just tell they already knew what was going to happen so they're bursting in laughter because they can see oh god she hasn't even started off very well so that completely threw me off and so I just was like, no, just ignore them. You can do that. You can do this. Go power. Come on. Just keep going. About 10 point turns later, they're still laughing and staring right at me. I'm, I'm beat tree red at this point. And I done something that I think, <laughs> I don't know if people do this. I yawned. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I just like thought, I don't know, I think I thought if I yawned it would look like it didn't really matter that they would sit there laughing at me. So I pretended to yawn and then <laughs> and then I kind of like carried on and then I just got into a really big conversation with my daughter. Like, well, let's suddenly let's start talking about them. We don't, it doesn't matter they're sat there laughing at me, but who cares? I'm taking my time with this. So I'm sat there, I <laughs> just started yawning, I'm sorry. It just cracks me up that I, I don't know why i done this. Anyway. So I got out of the car and because I'd parked next to a van, so there was a van in front of me, a van there, um, I, there wasn't a huge amount of space next to that van. So I went to see if there was enough space for my daughter to, to get out of the car and saw about five <laughs> metres, like metres behind me left that I could have continued rehearsing it. I got myself in such a flummox. It was just so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. They really weren't helping. Why couldn't they just like ignored me? I thought it was me. I would completely just be like let this lady go on but let's not look at her she can do this but no they thought it was hilarious why I decided to pretend to I mean what I'm I'm sorry I'm bored I'm bored of your laugh no, I'm bored of trying to reverse I don't know what I was doing I literally came home afterwards I sat down and oh socks was it oh, socks my cat sorry shaking the um video yeah I sat down and just laughed at myself because I've just thought what were you doing honestly it was so embarrassing so i had to get back in the car reverse it back i got my daughter to climb over to my side it couldn't have got everything that could have gone wrong went wrong um so yeah probably it's one of those you had to be there and you're all just reset again it's not really that funny but <laughs> it really was it was just so funny that i decided to that a yawn would be something to do to show that i didn't really care that they were sat laughing at me i don't know I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, it was funny. Uh, so yeah, it's <laughs> that story. Um, so stitching this week, I um, when I when I did start to feel better, I wanted to get cracking back on Hannah Halloween. I absolutely love her. She's definitely one of my favourites at the moment. So I will get that to show you. Where has she got? There we go. So again, as I show you every week, this is my Hannah Halloween. I absolutely love her. She is from Sheena Pike on Heaven and Earth Design. I'm cross-stitching her on 18 count white Ada. And she is 409 stitches by 344. So it says, so the, the actual size count they gave, give you is based on 25 count, which is a lot smaller than 18. So it says here that it would be 16 and a quarter by 13 and three quarters, but is going to be a lot bigger but yeah there's my Hannah Halloween um so this week I've, I've gone a bit all over the place with her um well let me just move that sorry um because I'm waiting for so on here I've obviously been doing the pumpkin I'm waiting for these purples to come in um and some of this colors here there's like quite a lot of light yellow so I'm waiting for them I've done a big about 30 color order on um lakeside needle craft needle works whatever it is um so that will be due to come soon um so i decided that i actually do really love the um little pumpkin here little angry face pumpkin so i figured actually i've got quite a lot of those colors i'll crack on and go that side so have that in mind this is how far i now am with my Hannah Halloween. You can see that, okay, the sun has just decided now is the best time to go down. So I was, obviously I'd done this, uh, last time I'd done this page. Well, not done, well, I've not completely finished the page, but because uh, I've got these colours that I'm still waiting for. But I've come over to this side, which you can see there is, there's a bit of an eye 
and this is going to be the little pumpkin here so I have gone a bit about town all around on it but I was really desperate to get to that little cross pumpkin so I thought oh, I just want to get to there so I kind of filled in this bit came along and then just started working on there so I've done a lot um so yeah I'm pleased with my progress as soon as I start this Wednesday um but yeah it does look a little bitty I sometimes I watch um cross stitches on YouTube and they kind of look up and go this is the next bit I've done and they've got like a neat line and it's all coloured in and it's very neat I'm not me when I cross stitch I'm a bit all over the place but it will get done and I'm still trying to find my way actually I think because although I've been stitching for a lot of years it's only been the last couple of years that I've really even probably the last year I'd say that I've really really got into it um so I still am finding the best way for me uh Friday night we done a like a zoom stitch along game of um Crafty Emily and um some other lovely ladies Christie's corn crafting corn i think she's called sorry if i got that wrong i will put a link down below she's joined us now which is absolutely lovely because i was watching her um youtube videos anyway it's really nice to meet her and have a chat so friday night we were all chatting and there was a lovely lady on there from australia i'm so i'm so my name my mind is blank today but she, i don't think she does youtube in apologies if she does i'll check back when we next stitch but um she does the i don't know if you've seen other cross stitches that they get the end of their thread and they kind of poke it out here and you see lots of frayed threads coming out and then they do that so that then when they're stitching they're stitching over the thread at the back that's hanging because i kind of just you only see the mess of my back now but i tend to just kind of tuck it in so it just I finish a thread and I tuck it into the back of the threads of the stitches I've already done um a bit messy but it is no one's gonna see the back whether it's done um so uh, they I asked her is that a good way to do it is it better is it more secure and she said she does it both ways as well so she's trying to find her way home way so I might try that on one of mine but I am kind of just trying to find my own way around doing a chart. Should I do it like a strip or should I do it you know, cross country? Um, I'm just trying to find my own way, but I'm getting the stitching done. So I don't really think it matters too much, uh, but it does look a lot neater. So what I'm trying to say is when you watch it, people have a nice neat line. It's all coloured in. There's no bitty bits. They're not waiting for colours like me to come through. Um, then, yeah, that is nice, but... You're probably you're not going to get that with me i don't think but yeah um so this is the other pumpkin and i'm i'm super happy with how hannah halloween's coming along i think like i say bearing in mind i've not stitched many days i've got quite a bit done so i'm pleased with it um i also am now, i've now have pattern keeper yay so <laughs> um when I usually do my cross stitching, I use the pattern printed off PDF and I um, just, I get my needle minder, stick it to my cross stitch and I follow it. And then I use a highlighter pen to pe like ink out where I've been. Pattern Keeper is really great because you literally download the PDF straight onto your, I've got it on my Kindle. I don't want to have to buy a new tablet or anything. So I've found out a way of downloading Google Play Store on my Kindle, which is actually quite straightforward. There's a laser tutorials online. Um, and so I was downloaded it onto there. So yeah, um, with Pattern Keeper, you can download the pattern straight on there and you just highlight the color that you're on so that that's the only color you can, you're following. And then it will follow the amount of stitches you've done, the percentage, it's fab. Oh, here comes socks again, sorry. Well, actually what I do, I'm not like Miss YouTube savvy. So um, I'm using his cat tower to balance my phone on at the moment. So really I should have shown him out because he's like, oh, you're, you're playing on my cat tower, I wanna pen it. And it is his, so if you follow him in it, I shall uh, <laughs> edit you out. Socks, come here. Um, so yeah, um, pattern keepers fab, but obviously because I've started all my patterns at the moment, although I've downloaded the, um, PDFs onto there, I've got to then go in and mark off everything I've done, which I've yet to do. So 
a good excuse to buy a new pattern, don't we think? <laughs> so I thought I need a fresh new pattern to start um, Pattern Keeper, of course, so I need a new one. Um, so I did, I bought, I'm going to get it up to show you. I haven't done much on it, but I will show you the stitching that I've done. Basically, I have got, so it is called a Treasure Hunt Bookshelf, but it's a quick stitch. So it's only a section of Treasure Hunt Bookshelf by Amy Stewart. There is a, so Amy Stewart, the Treasure Hunt Bookshelf is a whole load of books going along. Um, and I just got a section of it thinking quick stitch is going to be quick. No, no, no. Even minis on Hey do not mean mini. Um, you think of a mini cross stitch and you think of my little, this is a mini cross stitch. Mini on Hades are uh, heaven, heaven and Earth designs are still about 400 by 500 stitches. So um, this quick stitch that I've got, which I'm going to show you here. So it's called Treasure Hunt Bookshelf, Amy Stewart. Hopefully you can see on the screen. I'm going to try not to get too much glare. There we are. I hope you can see it okay. So you've got basically, there's like a little cat playing with bubbles and a book at the bottom. I love that her dress is absolutely beautiful. It's just this, like the shimmery seafoodness. It's just, and it pops with loads of colours. I think there's a little Mulan, Mulan character there, Mulan. Uh, a little person on a swing, shooting star. I love it. This is going to be... 465 by 999 stitches. Um, again, I'm going to do it on 18 count Ada. I I would have liked to have done it on 25 count. The problem I have is trying to find, I, I mean, if someone can help me out with this, it'd be great, great, but I would like 25 count fabric that isn't really, really expensive. It, it worked out about 40 pound if I wanted to do it on there, but 18 pound, I'm sorry, 18 count for so much more fabric was only 20 pound. So that's, I like working on 18, but it's just the fact that it doesn't make sense. You're getting all this extra fabric that, yeah, you want to go for 25 and you, it's just a lot of money. 40 pound isn't a huge amount, but then you add on all the colours and I just, yeah, I went with um, 18 count. So I did start it, <laughs> very minimal. This is what's in the way in the back here. I done a tiny wincy bit there um, and I can actually show you in a minute how many stitches that is and the percentage now I can do that. I bought a watercolour pen, like a water soluble pen from Amazon um, just to mark in the squares so I thought that'd be quite nice to do it that way um, because that, that way when I'm following it on the pattern keeper I know that's my 10 square. I'm not going to go too far wrong if I know that that's where the stitches are there. So that colour there is, I believe, DMC 823. It's a navy blue colour. Um, so that's part of the sky there. So I really haven't got much to show you there, but it is a start. It was just me. I bought it when it came, the fabric came. I was like, I just want to chuck a few stitches in there. Um, and I would have done more, but it was just a busy, busy night and a busy day. So yeah. Um, I will tell you exactly how little that amount is, but it's something, progress is progress. So if I have a look, um, let's have a quick look. Just sing amongst yourself for a second. For a second. Uh, here we go. That was 244 stitches and it is 0.05% of the pattern. So yeah, um, it's gonna take a while and also, or I could make a dress out of how big this fabric is. It's just huge. Obviously, I need to find a way to do that a bit better. I've been using my 11 by 11 Q snap frame to do it on. I would like a long, a bigger frame or maybe something that's freestanding, but that'll have to be something I ask for for my birthday. But my son saw it. <laughs> he said, Mum, that's going to take years and I said that it doesn't matter how long it takes it's the progress I enjoy doing it and then he went well oh, where are we gonna put it and I was like like I thought of that that's not in my mind when I see a nice and where am I gonna put it I'll find somewhere actually it's quite funny um Emily said when we were on our um zoom chat she said 
Well, or someone else might have said, actually, he'll be moved out of house by the time you're finished. You can use his bedroom. <laughs> so, exactly. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm going to love doing more progress on that. And I hope to work on that a bit more next week to show you a bit more of it. Um, but some of the colours that I ordered from Lakeside are in that. So that's why it's kind of, I've only put a few bit in. I have got more of that colour. It's just what I've got done so far. So yeah, that's that that's been worked on this week. I have worked a tiny wincy bit, and I'll explain why, on um, my 20-sided dice fairy. So this one, which I love her too, I absolutely love. Um, this is by Jasmine Beckett Griff, and it's on Heaven and Earth Designs. Again, I'm doing this on 18 count, yeah, white Ada on this one. Um, this is 257 by 322 stitches. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love her. Now, I picked her up yesterday, last night. Where have I put her? You know, you think you're organised and you're like, yeah, that's there and that's there. And then you, and then you just, it just, yeah, it is here. <laughs> okay, so I picked her up last, no, yeah, it must have been yesterday afternoon. Um, and I put some colour in and then I realised I'd gone wrong so I frogged it out, done it again and went wrong again, frogged it out and I thought what is going on with me today, done it again, happy, got it in the right place, realised I'd done the wrong colour, I mean what is going on? So here is my lovely uh, 20 sided dice fairy. So, as you can see here on her hair, she's got like gem things. So, let me see that. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that. It's quite hard to show. Oh, no, so it's actually this side, isn't it? These green blobby bits there in her hair. Right, this is this part here. Th that should have been 936, which is. What did I put up against it? this colour. I don't think you can see it. It's a very much darker green that I picked up. Don't know if you'll be, yeah, you can kind of see. So this, and then all up in here, I need to frog out now and do again. What was going on with me? I have no idea. I don't know, I don't, cannot tell you. But I, when I realised that, I just, you kind of just go, your eyes start switching. <laughs> you go, I don't know, just put it down doesn't matter we'll sort it out tomorrow so yeah so the progress I got done with her is now been taken back and I've got to start again but it's fine it's fine we will okay. um so I then um was looking through my old stash of um cross stitch that I've done in the past and realized I actually oh socks don't it's my fault not the cat's fault <laughs> Um, I realised, come here socks, good boy, come on, oh, look at little Mr. Sockies, it's not his fault, like, I know he's like, no, he won't, he have got my thing, um, so, uh, I'll say, there's a little hammock underneath, he's gonna go under there for a sleep, bless him, um, okay, yes, so I was looking through my old cross stitches that I, um, purchased a long time ago, so I used to do a lot of dimensions, um, and I came across one that I promised I'd do for my son. I've got a bad mother, aren't I? <laughs> um, a long time, because he really likes wolves. So I, a long time, was like, I'll buy this, which is a Dimensions. There we are. Um, little Dimensions kit. And he loves wolves. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'm going to do this one for you. And I hadn't done much at all on it when I found it the other day. It is on 18 count by Ada. Um, and it's five by seven again so it's going to be the same size as that little one I got from Mother's Day today um and I picked it back up and thought I really need you know, just because I absolutely love heaven and earth and you know all the pdfs and everything you can get online I should not love the dimensions I still do love the dimensions that you can get um there's quite a few there's one called Enchantress Forest or something something like that it's beautiful girl really lovely green cloak and it's got autumn leaves and things around it and that's still on my to-do list um and so is there's like a victorian house one as well that i really want to do um but yeah so i picked him back up and this is as much as i've done of him at the moment so you can see you can see that 
he's there peering through the trees uh, there we go so yeah he won't take too much to do and it's been quite nice actually to just have to do one I obviously when I found it it was in one of these um circle oval bit frame things but actually I've been doing it in hand because I've been enjoying that much more and I've also found that the I remembered some of the stitches in there are two different colors so you've threaded with two different colors at once so there's like a light creamy with a brown in areas which kind of gives like um the furry sort of look it's hard to see on here but it's actually really nice um so I was doing this on my stitch along with the ladies uh, Friday night so because it was quite a nice little little one I don't have to concentrate too much so I'm quite pleased with actually how he's coming because when I picked it up I'd only done this bit up here um I find it hard that obviously when I used to do it I was I'd start in the middle you know we get a pack and it would tell you start in the middle and work your way out um now I really like doing top left or top bottom or something and doing like that way that was one thing I'm I've realised I like doing, but um, obviously I because I hadn't, I had to crack on with how he's going. So he's, I think he's really nice, and I think my son's going to really like him. The only thing I don't like is there's like some half stitches in his fur, um, and it kind of throws me when I do a full stitch and then I have to put some half stitches in there for some reason. Um, but I know it will look nice and it gives the texture and everything. But it's the only thing where I'm like, I don't, I don't know why, I'm just not enjoying that part, but. Yeah, so there's him. Um, so I'm going to continue with him and get him done for my son. And whilst I was looking through there, I found some completions that I hadn't shown you before. So when I moved house, um, so this one was in a frame that I'd done a long time ago. And um, when I moved house, the frame cracked. So I need to wash it and iron it and get it framed again. But there's these owls that I'd done a while ago, quite a long time ago, I'd probably say about five six years I don't know but yeah I love owls so and it does it lovely on a frame I hope you can see that okay yeah so there we go I'm gonna frame that and get that up on the wall again because I absolutely love that so there was that one that I hadn't shown before um my nan had done me some peonies in a vase um which I never did get around to framing, I feel awful. So I need to wash it and frame it and everything. Um, so there's this one. But I think that's a dimensions kit that she done for me. Um, you know, I'd shown before the Chinese lady that she, Japanese lady she'd done for me, but yeah, this is another one. So yeah, I need to get that one framed. So pretty. And I did find one that I'd started ages ago and haven't finished, surprise, surprise, um, which is another Dimensions called Garden Reflections, which is a nice little bird bath for some flowers. And this is how far I had got with that one. So I really need to crack on and finish that one, actually, because it's really pretty. I really like the bird bath and the bird um so i'd forgotten i'd even started this one so i'm pretty much halfway there with that one as well so it's another one and i quite like the fact that i have literally gone and i'm not just started in the middle and that's it i've done a whole side there so yeah I'll show you that one again that's that one and that is on uh i think it says actually it's 11 inches by 15 inches I can't see what the count is. Oh, here we go. 16 count grey ada. Um, so, yeah. That is all of those. I think. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> um, I came across Daryl. I think it's Daryl Cameron on YouTube. I hope I've said that right. Absolutely hilarious. He cracks me up. I binge watched him the other night um, when I decided to hand the Halloween. Um, and I know I feel like when I shout people out on here that people are like, really, you've only just come across him. They've been going for ages. But where I'm quite new to all of this, um, I still would like to mention him just in case there is someone that's watching me that hasn't heard of them. So, yeah, check him out. He's so funny. He, he's just absolutely hilarious. And I was chuckling away watching him. But I do have to blame him for something because I saw on there, uh, he showed a Red Riding Hood Heaven and Earth design um, 
can't remember who it's by. I haven't bought it yet, but I almost bought that the other day. And then I came across another YouTuber called Flossibilities. I actually can't say that word. Flossibilities, something like that. She's lovely. Um, and she does some really lovely Chris Dunn um, kits. So I went and bought one. I had two. And I told myself after buying the Treasure Hunt book travel that I don't need any more. I've got a lot. Just stop. And then I bought that one. So I'm going to show you a picture of it because I haven't got the fabric yet. But I do have the PDFs been downloaded. So I will show you that um, in a second. So it's called Bedtime Story. It was only £9 for the PDF. Um, oh my gosh, the glare's not great. Oh, it's just so pretty. Um, if you look on Flossibilities um, YouTube, she's done one, she's doing a Halloween one, which I almost done because I love Halloween, but I thought I've got Hannah Halloween, so I wanted to do something different. She's also got a sheep one, I think they're knitting or quilting, probably knitting sheep, but yeah. Um, and she's also got an owl, and I almost got the owl one because it's so beautiful, but I kind of find sometimes that when I'm watching someone, I kind of go, I love that, but I've seen them do it. So I might see if the artist has got a similar one that I love or something that I love. It sounds silly because I want it on my wall too. So they probably will be on my list to do eventually. But looking through, yeah, um, I'll show you that again. Um, I just had to get, where is it? Let's be fair, I'll lose it now. Oh, they do, honestly, Chris Dunn does some absolutely lovely, absolutely lovely ones. Um, and they just stitch up really nice. So I'm super excited. There is a lot of brown in it. Um, look at the PDF and it's every single shade of brown going. But, so I might be like, oh, I'm sick of doing brown. I might start bottom left, do a bit that way. Um, it's just super, super cute. Uh, bedtime story. So I thought actually, I'm gonna do that. It might be nice to go in my daughter's room. She's into dinosaurs at the moment though, so that's not gonna work, but who knows, by the time I've finished it, she might want it. She might be moved out as well, but hey. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's everything to tell you about this week. Actually, we're half an hour and I'm still babbling on. This doesn't usually happen. I'm quite, quite kind of chuffed that I had more to talk about, but um, I hope that you've enjoyed listening. This week, I always say this week I'm going to do and then I come back on and go, I haven't done any of that, but why not? Let's go on with this week. This week I need to do my long dog because we all know that I've been blabbing on about me doing a bubble every two weeks and now I'm three weeks on and I haven't finished that bubble. So I need to get that bubble done and I love my new long, my new normal long dog. Um, so yeah, I need to do some of that this week. I'll definitely be doing some Hannah Halloween and I want to be doing some of my new starts sorting out 20 sided double dice whatever 20 sided dice that is the one um i'll be doing that um i haven't i know i started with my bullet journals and everything i did really enjoy doing it but i have been putting a lot on my plate recently with work and then doing the cross stitching um learning japanese trying to learn spanish as well i've put my name i've tried applied for a degree as well so i'm waiting to hit back on that I, yeah, so you know when you just go, actually, I love it, but just do it when I've got time. And we've got Easter holidays coming up soon, so I'll get a lot more done then. Because um, then me and my daughter can sit down and do our bullet journal together. Um, and yeah, I made some, I did make some cards. I made a birthday card for my nephew a couple of weeks ago, and I made a Mother's Day card for mum today. So I do do crafty bits there, here and there, but nothing really to show you. Um, Book-wise, I have been given a book by a friend at work that I'm going to start. I can't actually remember what it's called and I don't have it to hand, so it will just be one I mention next week if I start it. It's about what would you do, it's something about, um, so you, the devil, you have a wish from the devil and um, you can, you have like one thing you can get rid of in the world and they decide to get rid of cats. Pretty weird. <laughs> I think it's based on another story um, and that's what happens with cats out of the world and I just thought she loves well she knows I like cats and she knows I like reading so she's like hey give this a go so um it's a short book so I'm going to give that a go um other than that I think that's it I don't know 
but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but thank you so much for listening and um, hear me babble. I have blabbled on a bit. Blabbled? Blabbled on a bit this week. Can't even get my words straight. But um, I really am enjoying doing this. So thank you. If you do enjoy watching, um, please subscribe or comment because I love getting your comments. I actually, it's really nice actually. Um, and I always make sure I try and comment back. So um, feel free to just ask me a question or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> um, thank you so much. I hope you're all having a lovely week and you're all well and healthy and um, enjoying your rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye.